Bossman D'Lo is becoming an unstoppable figure in the rap scene. He went from a jail cell to becoming one of the most lit rappers alive. He caught a wave in Florida and been on a different level since. It wasn't an easy come up because D'Lo was intrigued with the streets. Porsche Salerno, Florida is where he was born and raised, plus where he jumped off the porch. The life of selling drugs was up his alley and he lets it be known it's like that in his music. But 2019 would be the start of a mind blowing career for boss man D'Lo. It was time for him to get his feet wet and take over in the industry. The trap style of music reminds the people of Gucci and Jeezy, but of the new age of rap. The mixtape he dropped called Too Slippery had the fans on the edge wanting to listen to more. But D'Lo ran into trouble with the law right before his music came about. He was arrested for selling and possessing cocaine and spent six months in prison. He didn't want that to take over his life anymore, so he wanted to rely on the mic. D'Lo also mentioned his only brother inspired him to take music more serious. D'Lo re-released his mixtape Too Slippery in 2023, which gained a lot of attention on TikTok. And just a few months later in the summer, D'Lo signed with Alamo Records because they knew he had an authentic type of image. But his single Get In With Me was originally performed as a freestyle on a YouTube podcast. And it ended up being recorded in the studio. And from that moment on, it was Murder, She Wrote. The track was released at the top of 2024 and became a hit. It went viral on Instagram and TikTok, particularly due to a feud he had with Rick Ross's ex-girlfriend, Tia Kemp, as well as his daughter. The track ended up debuting on the Billboard Hot 100, as well as the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs charts the following month. It peaked 49 on the Hot 100 after spending a good five weeks on the charts. D'Lo would even speak on the track and how he was surprised about the outcome. Shit was crazy just looking at the phone and seeing big artists reposted and freestyle on the beat and shit. Like, that shit crazy, bro. You feel me? Then the bangers continued. He wouldn't just be labeled the next one-hit wonder or a rapper that was sometimey when it came to making hits. Because Mr. Pot Scraper was released one month later and went insane in numbers, the man started being an overnight sensation. Everyone wanted to hear more, being his wordplay of choice was catchy. But on March 15th, 2024, D-Lo dropped another mixtape called Mr. Beat the Road. It sold 24K first week of being released. D-Lo has motivational music, and that's what stands out about him. Once he dropped Mr. Beat the Road, the fame and success will be taken to the next level. A collaboration with Glorilla would take place with the remix of Finesse. It has 32 million total views on YouTube in only three months. But when it comes to people that influence D-Lo to take music serious, major faces like Future, who has a satisfaction of a career and an artist who's done everything you can think of, an inspiration to the upcoming artists and even the artists already big in the industry, Lil Wayne, someone who's made a huge impact on rap, one of the best of all time, and the one who had hip hop in a choco while he was in his prime. Lil Wayne was one of the people's favorite artists growing up. And Yo Gotti, a living legend that has a lineup like no other on his label, and a genuine person who's well respected in the rap world, but most importantly, a boss that you can look at as motivational purposes. D-Lo generates a unique fan base. He brung his own style of rap into the industry, a dope dealing motivational type of wave. XXL even made a statement on D-Lo, describing him as a man with impeccable swag, conversational cadence, and a booming baritone voice, which means he's showing some elevation in the hip-hop culture, bringing a whole new situation to the rap scene. Alamo Records and many other big sources describe D-Lo's music as aggressive and pushes people to want to wake up and make some money. But D-Lo's main goal is to put his city on a small area in South Florida where nobody has made it out. D-Lo started having big rappers want to work with him, and one that stands apart from the others was Lil Baby. Baby was featured on D-Lo's song, PJ. Having Baby as a cosign could potentially bring a boost into D-Lo's fan base. The track is getting millions of views on all streaming platforms. 
and he brought baby to his hood to shoot the video even though he's fresh into the spotlight his catalog is already becoming effortless but D'Lo made the XXL freshman class of 2024 a huge accomplishment for a superstar on the rise and he said that was a huge goal of his as an artist D'Lo went from the trenches to an iconic sensation YouTubers like Booba Hunter Time, someone grinding and on the come up, who does videos with a variety of rappers from his city, included D-Lo on his YouTube channel. And that collaboration is almost touching a million views. But can D-Lo keep the momentum? Can he keep the entertainment on rotation? He's already at a prime status in his career. It's only room to elevate. D-Lo claims he has another album dropping in the fall to feed the fans. He also stated making the transition from the drugs and the streets to the music realm wasn't as easy as you would think. It seems like he blew fast, but that came with a lot of hard work and dedication. But if D-Lo can keep applying pressure the way he's been doing, ain't no telling he could be the face of hip hop in the future. Even though D-Lo doesn't have any awards, he was nominated for the Best New Artist Award by BET, which goes to show he's elevating and can possibly get the job done later on. But all in all, the man is a workaholic, a true hustler, and an all-around ambitious human being. 